Hey friends, Shay here. So today I'm here to talk to you a bit about my planners. So as you could see throughout the year, if you've been a follower of my channel for a long time, my planning just kind of fell off the bandwagon. I got overwhelmed with a lot of things in my life early on in the year, and so planning didn't continue very well. Um, because of that, I'm changing up how I'm doing my planning for the year of 2023. Um, I did experiment throughout the year with some other layouts and some other formats that were a little bit simpler, and I think I've kind of figured out how I want to handle my planning moving forward. So let's kind of talk about that a bit. Um, so I'm not going to only be bullet journaling this next year. And that's going to be the biggest change. Um, I have been doing some research throughout the year and been talking to some friends, looking at how they plan, seeing what spoke to me as a person and how I would want to plan. So let's, I've got all of my planners for the next year. So let's go ahead and talk about them and I'll show them to you. So let's go. So the first one I have here may surprise some of you. It may not surprise others, but I got a Hobonichi cousin for this next year. I don't have my slip cover for the actual cover and it can get pretty dirty. So I've left it in its package for now. Um, in this one, there are monthly calendars, weekly calendars, and daily calendars. Um, with the way things are going at my job, having a daily place to kind of put my things that I need to do for work for the day will be very helpful. And then I also have a place where I can almost kind of journal daily. And then I have all my weekly things where I can put my big things. And then I can do like my birthdays and stuff on the monthlies. So I've been watching a lot of plan with me's and things to see how other people work in their Hobonichis before I bought mine. Um, my girl Izzy over at Happy For Now has had a Hobonichi for years and I kind of talked with her about it and she's really excited for me to get into my Hobonichi. I'm also waiting for some other supplies to arrive so I can properly set this up for um, when that's ready. If you're interested in seeing my setup once it's here, I would be happy to film that. Just let me know down below. And then I do have two other bullet journals that I'll be working in. So yes, I will still be bullet journaling. Bullet journaling is still something I love and enjoy for the most part. But the way I had myself set up to do it was just overwhelming for me at the time. Sorry, I know I still have this and it's just, it takes me a minute to open things. So I'm changing up the size of my bullet journals for this next year. Um, I decided um, I will be doing Archer and Olive journals again. I love Archer and Olive. I love their products. I love their bright white paper. I love the thickness of the paper so that I can kind of do whatever I want in them and it'll still work. So now that I've got the plastic off, let's show them to you because they're both adorable and I'm very, very excited. So this year I decided to go with eight by eights. Now that might seem weird to some of you, but for how I plan to set these up, I'm honestly very, very excited because I think an eight by eight will benefit me the most. So I have this one here that's called, um, I believe this one's called the beekeeper. So if you look at the gold there, there's a flower and a bee. And I just love this kind of like peachy, corally pink. And then my other one, I'm really excited about too. I loved these designs this year. I thought they were so pretty. And so I'm just very, very excited. And then the other one is this gorgeous bluish teal and it's a narwhal and it's so cute. And I love it so much. If it'll focus, don't focus on my face. There we go. It's so cute. Um, so in these, one will be for my manga and one will be for my books. I'm thinking the narwhal will be for manga and then my B will be for my books. So I'll do just kind of like a monthly like title page kind of situation. And that's this essentially going to be um, I'm going to have a little column. So I'll have like four columns on each page, about two inches wide. And what I'm going to do in those columns, I'm going to have a picture of the book. I'm going to have my rating underneath. 
And then I have these amazing stickers from my girl Brie over at In Love and Words. And I'll be using them. So I have these great format ones that tell you whether it's an ebook, audiobook, physical book. Um, and then I've got these star rating stickers. If you're a bookish person at all, you should be shopping in Brie's Etsy shop. Um, she also has six star versions. So if you are a six star rater, you can get the six star versions. And then another thing she has is she has these great trope stickers. So I can kind of put some key tropes, write down character names, things like that. So that as I'm going back through things um, and wanting to reference things for later, I kind of have a lot of that key information because I read so much, I don't necessarily want to neglect any of that. So I'm very excited to utilize these a little bit better this year because I picked them up last year. And I also got from her shop, I'm gonna leave her shop linked down below by the way, because I firmly believe that if you are a bookish content creator, she's the one you go to. She also has these great um, like plan content, edit, upload, um, like these stickers to help you in your planners to promote things for live shows. And so I plan to utilize these quite a bit in my Hobonichi. But yeah, so that's kind of my plan. So I'm going to do the same thing for manga where I can write the demographic, the rating, and a few key things about that particular volume and move forward from there. So I can just kind of have a log of all of the things that I've read throughout the year. Um, I do, I will most likely be cutting back because my responsibilities at work will be changing. So I won't be reading quite as many things, but there will be months where I do like 30 and 30 like I am in November and some things like that that will affect my reading and how much I read. So that's it. Here are my planners for the next year. Um, I haven't done any setup in them yet. So if you are interested in seeing the full setup videos, let me know in the comments down below. I'd be happy to share those with you when I do them. Again, I'm still waiting for some supplies to arrive before I do that. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you're here just because you love me, leave me some sort of office um, supply emoji. So pens, paper, notebooks, anything like that will work. And thank you again for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.